more robots, more regionals, and we even have a district championship to go over. There were some insanely close matches, and there were just some straight up blowouts. So let's get right into it. A classic 1 vs 2 with Cybercats and Team Rice in blue, and Ranger Robotics and Hicksville Jaybirds in red. Ranger Robotics got two cones and a balance in auto, which gave their side the small lead. Blue wanted a tiebreaker, and their links came together to make the score close. Enter 2876 with a hip check that left Ranger Robotics like a turtle at their charge station. Blue took advantage of the 3 on 2, placing Lynx on the grid and playing defense on the remaining red bots. 3015 wriggled so red could get the double, but Blue nailed the triple balance to force the tiebreaker. Match 3 had a similar auto, but this time Blue got the narrow edge. 2857 played defense on Blue, while the Lynx and huge hits just kept coming. Blue seemed to run away with it, but Red's quick scoring tightened this game right up. Anybody's game with 15 seconds remaining, 5 links apiece, all bots balanced. Sometimes 15 points of penalty can come in handy, and the Red Alliance came away with the 1 point win. This is why I saved Long Island 1 for week 4 instead of week 3. Long Island 2 had another 1 seed versus 2, with the Jaybirds and Cybercats versus Stipulse and Team Rice. So 3 of the 6 teams I just talked about a minute ago are back in another finals. Which should be a banner in itself, seriously. These teams just played seven straight days of robotics. No amount of coffee could keep me alive. I don't know how these kids do it. Sty Pulse had a two-piece auto, while 5736 couldn't get up for blue. Red kept putting pieces in place, and blue scrambled to get back in it. Red got a sixth link as they wobbled, and bobbled, and got the triple balance. Second time's the charm for Rice, as Red got the 46 point win. The 1 seed versus 4 seed in Israel, with arguably the two best teams in that country, Orbit and Steampunk, against Trigon and Galaxia. Both sides had insanely productive autos, with Blue busting out a pair of two-piece autos, and Orbit had a couple firm yeets for their three-piece auto. Steampunk's balance didn't, so Blue had the early 10-point lead. Orbit and Steampunk zoomed for pieces, while 5135 played some defense. Blue spun out of blocks, but couldn't slow down Red as their links kept coming. Red got six links, and Orbit put up a layup for a seventh before joining their partners at the balance. 5990 adjusted a cube for Blue's sixth link before doing the same. Both alliances wobbled and bobbled and got the triple balance in an insanely close game. Sometimes, five points of penalty comes in handy as the number one seed escapes with the two point victory. You want another nail biter? We'll give you a nail biter. The five seed of the crown, Tectolia Robotics, and the Cheetahs face the one seed of Basictas R Sports, Pars Robotics, and Ataturk Robotics. The five seed won the first match after the red captain couldn't move, so red wanted the redemption match. 7285's cube missed its mark, and they fumbled their cone. Blue's cubes and balance were good for the three-point lead in auto. Our sports raced around the field for pieces while Blue put low cubes together. Tectolia got T-boned by our sports, leaving Blue with the two-on-three. Blue tried to slow down Red as well as score as our sports and pars kept putting pieces up. Both sides got the double, 
but Red got the 50 point win to force a tiebreaker. Match 3 had R Sports getting both their pieces on, plus the balances for the 2 point lead. Both sides cleared out the middle of cubes and went to the loading zones for more. 6436 went airborne on the send, but stayed moving to drop off a cube. A much lower scoring and closer match than the first two, with both sides going for the cubes and 8240 opting for the early climb. Just two links apiece going into endgame, with both sides wobbling and bobbling and not getting the triples or doubles. 12 penalty points don't hurt either, as the blue five-seeded alliance gets the four-point win for the upset. A one seed versus two seed with footage from the second match nowhere to be found, but both these matches played out extremely close. Blue had the lead from Otto and worked on filling the grid as all these bots focused on scoring rather than defense. The links slowly came together with anyone having a chance to take it. 6424 hit the three wheel motion as Red got a third link to take the lead. Blue responded with a third and then got their fourth link before getting the double balance, while Red got all three off the ground. A clean match, but Blue got the win by just two points. Family Affair Part 2 a 1 versus 2 headed into a tiebreaker with the Ratchet Rockers, who we saw at St. Louis, getting two pieces in their auto with their third, almost making it at the buzzer. Team Scream, who we saw at Arkansas, got a two piece and balance, which aided in Red's early 15 point lead. 5809 played defense on the Red Bots while Blaze Robotics and Team Scream Jr. played catch-up. 68-17 stalled out after a collision, which left Red with a 3-on-2. They came back to life but kept having connection issues as this match went up in the air. Jr. and Blaze placed a 5th and 6th link to answer Red's 6 links and got the triple balance while Red could only get the double. And if only, if only, as the two seed escapes the nail biter by four points for the win. A four seed versus three seed in Wisconsin, don't you know, with Hilltoppers and more robotics, who we saw at Miami Valley and Lake Superior, respectively, against Beast Robotics who we saw at St. Louis. Both sides dropped off cubes and balanced for a 36-36 tie in auto. Hilltopper put up a cone high for an early link while Blue got one down low. Red scoring was just too quick as their lead stretched to 30 into the last 30 seconds. Robo Tigers slipped off the balance, but their partner still got the double. Hilltoppers placed a low cube for a fifth link as the other red bots also got the balance. The three seated alliance got it done at the grid and came away with the 37 point victory. The one seed of Angel Botics and the Highlanders, who won at Utah, took on the three seed of Komodo and Bear Robotics. 4068 had a layup for a two piece, while Highlander's three piece gave Red the lead in auto. 4418 went to work defending Red, while the Highlanders almost lost it trying to apply their brakes. 4068 and 4293 got Blue back in it with links of their own. Neither side had any troubles with the triple climb, but all those grid points gave the number one seed the 28 point win. A one seed versus two seed as Blue Ignition, Bot Busters, and Cerbotics went up against Raoult, X Rams, and Type C. Bot Busters upped their auto game since last we saw them and created a link in Autonomous as 4400 trickshot a cube and 
almost balanced. But that first link and the second by 4400 put Red in business early. Blue had to work it to get pieces together, but 4403 got stuck at their substation. 3526 stalled out as the other red bots kept putting pieces together. 4403 got unstuck, but their arm took damage from their collision with the wall. Red got the double balance while Blue wobbled and bobbled and couldn't get the triple as 6200 slid off the side and didn't get the double as 4403 slid off at the buzzer. A very crazy match, but the one seed still came out with the win. The one seed of the Crusaders and Barker Redbacks faced off against the two seed of Raid Zero and Hawaiian Kids. If you remember back in week one, the Hawaiian Kids and Redbacks beat Raid Zero in Canada, so these teams are pretty well acquainted. Both sides had similar autos, but RoboCap couldn't get the balance, giving Blue the two-point lead. Hawaiian Kids and Raid went to work on the grid for Red, with Crusaders doing the same for Blue. The two seed was just too quick with their links, putting up six before 359 did a handstand for the triple balance. A close match, all things considered, but Red got the 14-point win. The four seed of BB Raiders and Pink Team went up against the one seed of LED Robotics and Spam in Tallahassee. Blue got the lead out of Auto and extended it with more pieces as 4592 popped a wheelie. Some of Red's pieces didn't want to go on, which cost precious seconds. Still anyone's match into the last 30 seconds with both sides getting the triple balance. Three links apiece, but the position of the links matters as Blue came away with the nine point win. A one seed versus four seed as the Ratcheteers and Ponage took on Thunder Robotics and Talon. 2451 got a two piece and auto which helped in the early 10 point lead. Thunder and Axiomatic Aftermath went to work putting high links together for Red, and Blue Bots did the same. Not a whole lot of defense getting played as either side has a chance to win it. Both sides got the triple balance with time to spare. Sometimes a 5 point penalty is all you need to force a tiebreaker. Blue once again had a small lead in auto and looked to grow it with a quick link but Red responded as this game went back and forth. 4728 popped a wheelie but stayed upright as Red crept away with the lead. The four seed got a fifth link before nailing the triple climb, and the one seed got their triple at the buzzer. Just a 14 point difference, but Red came away with the win. 254. That is all. They lost just one game in the qualifiers at Sacramento. The alliance they lost to had citrus circuits on it. So the Cheesy Poof selected them to form a dangerous duo. 254 and 1678 had won five regionals together, including Sacramento last year. It was never a question of if they could win, but how many points could the other teams hold them to? The Poofs had a two-piece and balance, while Berkelium had a fun finger roll and two more cubes that they bowled for a spare and a strike. Red had the five-point advantage, and this is as close as the match would be. Poofs and Citrus zoomed around for pieces, not seeming to mind Blue's defense. The Circuit Breakers caught a bump in the field and met the letter F. Citrus and Poofs did not miss a beat, bullying 5458 around as Berkelium and Penguin Empire struggled to keep up with Red's tirade. Red didn't slow up one bit in Endgame, getting six links before getting the double balance. 
Blue couldn't get all three bots off the ground, so settled with two. The Empire keeps striking as Red came away with the 53 point win. There are just two more weeks in the regular season and there is no way that the next set of regionals and district championships will be any tamer than this week. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the conclusion to the regular season. I will see you in the week five recap. Have fun, stay on the edge of your seat, and remember, gracious in victory, professional in defeat, amen. It looks like 5,700, they're waiting for someone to harass or, or maybe, oh my gosh! 50, 20, 60, Iron Panthers has been dumped on its side. Bad luck for them, 87.93 is now up on their charge station for the Blue Alliance and the Red Alliance. Right now they have got three robots engaged on the Red Charging Station, so just a dominant offensive performance by the Red Alliance.